Hello students, welcome back in our lectures. Now we are going to cover the next point from chapter number 5 that, uh, that is from distribution system as methods of distribution system. So for this methods, they will, you know, uh, this methods of distribution will depends on the nature of topography of the area where you want to distribute the water. Whether this topography is quite plain or uh, ups and downs are there. So this topography is very important. It is going to decide whether you are going to do uh, follow the methods of distribution. Either it will be by gravity method or by pumping method or by combination of gravity as well as pumping. So methods of distribution will basically depends on the topography of the area where you want to distribute the water. And this methods includes by gravity method, by combination of gravity and pumps and the next one is pumping method. So we will just see by gravity method. Now here you can see the distribution of reservoir or the distribution reservoir is at the top. Uh, top um, in the sense the uh, it is um, at the elevated area you may say and the area where you want to distribute is at the lower uh, lowermost area of your distribution reservoir what this situation states is whenever you are going to distribute water in a such a uh, sinky areas uh, whatever the area is at the downstream then whatever the force is required to flow that particular water is just a gravity which is quite sufficient to maintain the pressure which is required for your distribution of water. So in a such a areas where topography is quite low and your distribution reservoir is set at the elevation, this method or uh, by this location you can go for by gravity. Simply by gravity you can have a distribution of your water. Next one is pumping system. Now here you the distribution area is quite you know plain. There is no ups and downs, no sinking, no uplifting of uh, land. So the area is quite plain. So in this case what you need is you need to lift the water from your resource that is from your treatment plant or whatever the storage reservoirs is there. Lift that water with the pumping systems and then distribute that water again with pumping systems or you can go for uh, whatever your distribution uh, by gravity also. So but here the main uh, in the pumping system the main working is you need to lift the water from your resources and then you need to spread that water into your distribution system such methods are known as pumping system methods for your distribution system the next is the best method that is the combination of both gravity and pumping now it is not possible everywhere that you can uh, deliver your water with gravity or uh, you can simply go for 100 percent utilization of pumping system this both are irrelevant and uh, you know can't be applicable in a majority of the cases so they are quite area specific then criteria specific both gravity and pumping systems so what you can do is you can club this together and you can generate the new method that is combination of gravity and pumping so in this case what you can do is you can have your pumping house over here at the elevation you make your elevated reservoir at some height of your ground the area which is having uh, at the lower elevations, there you can go for gravity plus the area which is not that much at the sink area or having a very less elevations or ups and downs, there you can go for your pumping system. So you can club this gravity system and pumping system together according to the topography and the nature of uh, uh, your uh, reservoir uh, reservoirs locations you can go for this addition of gravity system and pumping system for your distribution uh, for the distribution of your water now as the system says or uh, as we have seen the systems that three different systems gravity pumping and the combination of it how you can maintain this uh, system so for support of the systems you need to have the distribution reservoir which is quite important in a distribution system distribution reservoirs are also called as service reservoirs which are acting as a storage reservoir for example many times you have treated continuously water treatment uh, water in a water treatment plant but 
sometimes you are not giving 24 hours of supply in such cases whenever supply is not there you need to have a storage of whatever treatment plant is there so your distribution reservoir will also act as a storage reservoir plus the main second important thing for uh, important purpose of this distribution reservoir is it helps to absorb the hourly fluctuations in a normal water demand so many times what is going to happen is oh, consumer is not going to use water continuously with the same quantity in the morning your consumers required a higher quantity of water in the afternoon or in the evening the, the quantity or the consumption demand uh, of water will reduce so this is giving you the fluctuations in the demand of water so this fluctuations will be absorbed by this distribution reservoir itself which acts as a storage reservoir also so these are the two main purposes for having a distribution system into your uh, distribution uh, system okay so distribution reservoirs plays a quite vital role in your distribution system now where should you locate this distribution reservoir it should be located as close as possible to the center of demand center of demand in the sense but the area from where you can cover maximum uh, consumers at a time for your during your distribution uh, during your distribution of your water that is the center of uh, the selected area okay center of demand is nothing but center of selected area water level in the reservoir must be at a sufficient elevation to permit a gravitational flow at adequate pressure okay now whenever your topography is quite good and all the systems are plain in a place to maintain a gravitational flow you should go for a gravity system for your distribution of water because gravity systems will not uh, you know cost you much uh, your water uh, water and the pressure these two things will taken taken care by your gravity itself so first and foremost things everyone every designer is look for uh, the possibility of applying gravity systems only so you need to place your uh, distribution reservoir in a such a fashion that you can allow for the uh, distribution by gravity gravitational flow with an adequate pressure what will be the function of distribution reservoir that we have already discussed is nothing but it can absorb the hourly variations it maintain the constant pressure and it also stores the water during the emergencies now what are the different types of reservoirs surface reservoir which is also called as a ground reservoir second type is elevated reservoir elevated reservoirs are nothing but tanks only which are known as elevated storage reservoir also so first we will see surface reservoir now when we have visited water treatment plant in pandarpur city pandarpur area then we have seen this underground reservoirs after the end point of a treatment they have a large ground and that large ground we are looking for this ventilators and you were asking me what are these ventilators and what is uh, at the bo bottom of this ventilator so this is the structure of the reservoir which is known as a ground reservoir where your treated water will be stored and whenever this water is required that water will be drain out and further it will be distributed to the consumers so this these these surface reservoirs or a ground reservoirs are generally made as a rectangular tank these reservoirs are constructed on a high natural ground and it is usually made of stones bricks and or your reinforced cement concrete side walls are designed to make up the pressure of water when the reservoir is full and the earth pressure when it is empty so as we have already seen on ground also on field also how this water reservoir looks you may not be able to see the actual structure from uh, standing at the ground you can only see the ventilators uh, which are there so this is the structure that you can draw also in your examination also for your surface reservoirs so these are nothing but these will just store the water which is treated water and then supply that water whenever it is required so it will have an intake intake from your treatment plant last unit of your treatment plant then it will have an drain outlet that is outlet for draining 
ventilators whenever uh, the water is stored some amount of air may also there so ventilation is also important then whatever concrete or the cement that we have used okay so these are the separation columns water level sometimes they have uh, the water level measurement kit also now during design of this surface reservoir you need to take consideration of ground water table also okay so this is the structure of your surface reservoir next one is elevated storage reservoir this is just a tank which is located at some height from your ground okay ground se thoda sa upar isko design kiya hua rehta hai why to have an elevation over here for the tank it just to maintain a sufficient pressure during a distribution towards your consumers so these are elevated storage reservoirs which are also referred as overheaded tanks are required at the distribution area which are not governed and controlled by gravitational system of distribution these are rectangular circular or elliptical in shape if the topography of the town not sufficient for under gravity the elevated tank or the reservoirs are used these are constructed where combined gravity and pumping system of water distribution is adopted now what is this thing is why you need this elevated storage is whenever the topography is quite plain and you can't go for gravity then you have to construct this particular tanks with sufficient elevation pump the treated water towards this particular tank fill this tank by using pumping system and whenever the water is required to distribute towards the water because of this elevation you can maintain a gravity over there you can have a gravitational pressure whenever you have a distribution over there so this elevation storage reservoir will follow a combined distribution system okay it will act as from pumping system also and gravity also okay next is storage capacity how to calculate the storage capacity of distribution reservoir for this calculation you need to consider three different parameters first is balancing storage breakdown storage and your fire storage balancing storage is nothing but the quantity of water required to be stored in a reservoir for equalizing or balancing the fluctuation demand against a constant supply okay fluctuation demands for example in a morning in the evening and afternoon in summer season winter season what are the different uh, demand variations this demand variations need to be equalized somewhere and to equalize that you need to have the equalization storage over there breakdown storage breakdown storage is called an emergency storage for example sometimes electricity is not there so pumps are not working sometimes a pipe failure is there so leakages of water is there sometimes your pump is not working properly a mechanical as well as electrical failure is there in such a cases supply should not be stopped a continuous supply should be there for that only this emergency storage is maintained and this is generally 25% of total storage capacity of reservoir last and familiar storage is fire storage for your fire demand or fire extinguishing the fire you need to have this water consideration for extinguishing the fire and it is generally provision of 1 to 4 per person per day is matlab 1% to 4% of your normal water demand for per person per day they are considering it so from this different three different storages how you can do is reservoir storage is equal to fire demand minus reservoir uh, pumping capacity into duration of time okay so reserve fire pumping capacity into this duration of fire okay so when the reservoir storage is elevated amount of fire reserve may be determined as matlab whenever you have a fire uh, demand over there so and this three demands are there you need to have first what will be the fire demand you are going to consider and how much pumps are uh, activated over there so this formula can be used for your storage 
capacity of storage calculation okay so here we can stop now if you like this video and want me to continue this series 